Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am CJ, and this is CJ's first cooking show. I don't know why, but it feels like it's been forever since I've been here. Welcome back to Neverland, Band the Man. Guys, today I'm gonna show you a fun one. We're gonna dive into the breakfast world. Do I it. don't love do it. breakfast, but if we're do gonna it. do it, we gotta go hardcore. Do so today, do I'm gonna show you guys how... You done? Do it. So we're gonna make a Baconator. This is a monster breakfast sandwich, and yes, it is a copycat. Wendy's recently brought this into the world, and we are so blessed to have Wendy's take us into the breakfast realm of Baconation. I'll say this. I have eaten many a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Oh yeah. Not proud of this, I'm <laughs> just saying. But nayer have I had a Baconator. Wait, Baconator? Did I inspire this? Here we go. See? Ethan, see? I, I saw it. See? See? See! Now this Baconator sandwich doesn't have too many elements that make it complicated, but one of the elements is an awesome Swiss cheese sauce. So we are gonna get started. Oh, wait a minute. You're actually gonna make a Swiss cheese sauce. Why wouldn't I? Because you know, it's CJ's first cooking show? Hey. Any pre-cooked cheese sauce on this show? The, no. There's no cheese product. Well, actually, there is a little cheese product on this one. I take it back. A tad, Lloyd! Um, but they don't call me the Baconator for nothing. It didn't get dressed up for nothing. So obviously the first ingredient to our Swiss cheese sauce would make sense that it is actually Swiss cheese. And if you wanna have um, pre-shredded, I do not discriminate against pre-shredded cheese. It is quick, <laughs> it is easy. However, in certain situations, you really want some creamy, melty, gooey cheese and this is one of those occasions. Mm. So, I'm gonna, potatoes before- potatoes are so creamy. These mashed potatoes are so creamy. Here we go, so I got my saucepan right here. We're gonna add, um, so this is almost two cups. I'm gonna, that's how much I'm gonna add. That much. That much. As Which Bruce would say, right, chair. Right, uh, and I've got some flour. We're gonna go in with this. And now I'm doing this uh, before I put my cheese in because I want to whisk, whisk this together. Also uh, known as a slurry, mixing flour, the thickening agent, into a liquid, making it bond later as it heats and the gluten develops. I was not aware of that. A little bit more flour and a pinch of, maybe two pinches of salt, one pinch of pepper, and... You know, if you did this with uh, chicken stock, it'd be a velouté. What's a velouté? One of the five mother sauces. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you were setting me up for it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't intending on ringing this early, but that was just way too funny. Here's to the five mother sauces. Learned that from Julia Child. You're welcome. Now that I've got my milk and my flour concoction all put together. Bechamel. Yeah, exactly what he says, booty traps. You mean booby traps. That's what I said, booby traps. All right, let's put this on our griddle top right over here and get to our proteins. Now I'm to setting this. Yeah, this needs some time to melt. And um, okay, moving well, on. Man, I feel like there's so much going on here. So much to do. So, so much about time. Not, I don't know if we'll have enough time. These gloves are kind of hard to get hot in them rhinos. So, here's the situation. We've got to get started with our sausage patties, and I didn't want to have pre-made sausage pat... Dude. Like the penguin. I know. <laughs> <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into our sausage. Obviously, we gotta get this out of our package. So we're gonna slice that open. Once we get it, we've gotta start building our sausage balls that will eventually become our like a, sausage like patty. Burger. It's it's essentially like a smash burger, All but right. we're gonna be using sausage. Now, I'm not sure the ounce of these. You could probably give me a better estimate. Two. Two ounces? Three, four? We'll see what this looks like. The but answer is 42. 42. 42. Now, we're gonna put this on our griddle top, which is nice and medium warm. Medium-ish. Medium-ish. And today we're gonna to be using our parchment paper and our smasher. Our, it's, it, just gonna smash. Just gonna just Make smash this guy. Smash. Exactly. So we're gonna give that a smash. And while those are starting to cook, let's go ahead and get our thick cut rights bacon on there. Let all of that start to cook together and hopefully some of that bacon fat makes its way over to a sausage. I certainly and do we are incorporate of some type. Bacon. 
<laughs> going, going, police officer. Mon frères. To ring it and bring it after that insane, obscene amount of obscene. cooking. It, baconation. Hashtag baconation. So during our short little break, our sausage and bacon has accomplished its task. Cooked beautifully. One piece of bacon might be nah. a little aggressive, but nah. it's no big deal. Over caramelized. Now, my friends, we are moving on to our eggs. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't happen to have these delightful little egg rings. This is not necessary, but it's just, it looks beautiful. They so are, They are delightful. We're, because we have them and because they're awesome, we're going to do it. So let's head right over here. And, you know, now liquid gold. We got this liquid gold, gold over here. It's gold. gold. There we go, boys. I feel like it's, it's like you don't have to actually say it. Cooking in bacon fat, it's just. It's a kind of magic. Magic, 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 magic. It's just one of those things. It's just so, oh. so good. Oh. I tapped it and released yep. the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. Don't hit the little handle, or else you're gonna lose all your goods. Oh yeah, but it's still nice and round. It's not that big a deal. Kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon. Look, there's a little thing in the front. It is a little. Did you do that on purpose? I don't, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give this a little pinch of it's called salt. a quip, not a slow. Uh, oh. I, yeah. Now, as seasoning my eggs, I've got a little salt and pepper, but I'm also gonna give this a dusting of some of our essential blend. Ooh, a little, this little black touch of garlic. It, yeah, it's a uh, yummy, 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 and. Make sure you season those eggs generously because you don't want to have bland eggs. Um, That's what I always say. Is that it? Buns? Buns. We're going to build it in a sec. I, I think I'm going to... Already? It. Maybe. I don't know. It's... So, I don't have a sweet segue, but... Wow, Metallica shirt. Nice one. Hey, CJ, did you know... Oh, no. That Lars Ulrich was only in one other band other than Metallica. It was called Merciful Fate. Huh. I would not have known that. But what about, I mean, because who cares about Lars? Who would want to be in a band with him? Shh. James, though, how many bands has he been in? He was in two. It was Spastic Child and Leather Charm. Leather Charm. Okay, I'm, I'm officially impressed. Yeah, so Lars has only been in two bands? No, Lars. Oh, yes. Lars is me, too. <laughs> yeah, it shows. All right, now, I do think I'm going to give this a quick flip. Let's see oh, how we did. Fun noise. Oh, yes. Nice one, so lovely geometrically lady. Geometrically accurate. Now, this one, I don't know. Uh, oh. 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 I spoke too soon. Wait. Come on. Oh. Come, come on, on, then. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's, let's give this a quick flip. And all right. All right. Well, get back uh, over there, egg you. Ring, bring it in some okay, steel. so those are like seriously almost done. While that's going, let's talk about some velvet. Love right over here. That's beautiful. What is that velvet? <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that velvet? <laughs> that's my favorite voice <laughs> that you do, bro. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at that creamy sauce. Dude, good uh, technique. I'm proud of you. Thank you, my friend. Proud of you. All right, let's. You know what? It's time. It's time to baconate. Shall we? How do we bacon it from here? Uh, that's a great question. Um, here's what we do first. We get our we get our buns. And you know, this is another thing you could you could decide to do if you want to. Uh, toast I don't, or not toast? To toast or not to toast. I'm not gonna toast these today. Uh, I I don't know why. I just Does Wendy's toast them? To be honest with you, I've never had one. I've never had a breakfast baconator. What? Yeah. This is gonna be a new experience for me. So we're never both ha never had one? First time. Yeah. Never had one. We need and to go to Wendy's. Never, never made one. Okay. There's, this has got to be better than Wendy's. All right, let's get our sausage. Sausages first. And See, Daddy, our do you bacon. want some salt edge? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? So I made three. We only need two. We're gonna get our first so guy. They look like a burger. It's, it's it looks like a burger, but it's definitely delicious. not a burger. Now that we've got that, we're gonna do some cheese. Thinking as we go. I'm, I'm thinking and figuring it out as we go. American cheese. Americana. It's wow. a it's a it's a beautiful beautiful Can't thing. Whoa, whoa. Don't you worry. Good technique. Thank you. All okay. right. Hold on. There we go. Perfectly placed. Perfectly placed. Might as well be an advertisement <laughs> for Wendy's. I've only... I always get junior bacon cheeseburgers that's and then I get I've the four gotten. piece. I get the four for four. In case you were wondering, that's what I get. We went on a road trip once and I we went to Wendy's and I got a junior bacon cheeseburger. Yes, you certainly did. I think I got two. Ooh, that's gonna be a yummy fat piece. Dude, people get over it. 
Because it's awesome. Wow. All right, Two here whole we go. pieces of bacon. Here we go. I'm liking it. Ready? Yeah. They don't call it the Baconator for nothing, guy. Ooh, that's hot. So where's the cheese sauce? Hold on, hold on. I'm You'll holding. see. More bacon over here. What? Oh, I thought you were going the same one. I was about to say, you crazy person. You crazy guy. Um, you know, you're going to call me crazy because we are going to do more bacon. I've got to have standards, right? My hypocrisy only goes so, so far. Uh, my hypocrisy goes only so far. I know. It's, People it's, eat this for breakfast? I don't, I I don't get, think I, I want a Baconator now. Why would you not want one of these? It's just as much cheese product as it is bacon. Well, that's the Aider. It's the bacon. <laughs> the cheese is the Aider, bro. Like don't, be a, don't be a hater on the Aider. Oh. Turn it in there. All right. One more. This is turning into a beast. It's, well, it's a it burden. Is. Okay, here we go, boys. Velvet cheese sauce. Dude, this is a gut bomb. Every time you make breakfast, it's one of those things like, I want to eat it, oh. but I'm also going to know that I'm going to feel bad about it <laughs> in an hour. Maybe. Yeah, so, yeah. So! The you flies, the flies are more. starting to show up. That's when you know you got some good smells and some good flavors happening. That's a thick, creamy so Yeah, it is. And then, Dang, look at dude. And then, we simply top. Simply. <laughs> wow. Top this tower. Good lord, CJ Frazier. What have you done? Look, it might not look as pretty as Wendy's, but that's because theirs is all like perfectly preformed. This is what it looks like when you put some love and attention into it. And my friends, that's a Baconator. That's a gut bomb. Yep. That I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Good. Okay. It's, it's officially been done, folks. It is. It is tis finished. Been, it is just finished. Um, now, two things. Number one, if you want to put the cheese on the sausage on the griddle to start the melting process, More go like for a it. And, and which is fine. I wasn't sure if it was going to have enough heat to melt on its own. It didn't fully like get ooey gooey with that cheese, but we've got a lot of ooey goo, which is I... good goo, good ooh, ooh, oh goo. goo. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put sauce on the bottom because it would have been. Just Giant mess. impossible. Here goes nothing. Bottoms up. Actually, I'm really excited about that cheese sauce. I might want that cheese sauce for mm. something else. I might borrow an idea from you for my show. You're welcome. An idea that I gave you that I'm taking back. Whatever. Okay. I've never had one before. That is the perfect amount of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Was it four pieces per? Yeah. Three pieces no, per four. sandwich? Yeah, three per. That was delightful. That creamy sauce. Holy cow, you guys. That breakfast? sauce is so freaking awesome. For breakfast? It's a it's a bomb. Like, this is pretty heavy. That's what happens when you're hardcore. You know, you're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. Yeah. The legend uh, of the, the rent. rent. Was way hardcore! Guys, if you like breakfast sandwiches, you're gonna have to try this one. <laughs> if for no other reason to impress the people that are around you, it is a gargantuan sandwich. It's, it's a, a good one. A leave, leave it in the comments below. Was this overkill? It could have been overkill. I don't Maybe. I don't know if I would make this all the time, but I'm really glad I made it today. Speaking of leaving things in the comments, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is go. officially time for CJ's favorite comments. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. So glad that you guys are with us. I appreciate you hanging out. This is the segment of the show where I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. If you guys write it. Oh, we read it. That's right. And then we display it for all the world to join in. And it might be a good laugh. Or it might be Sometimes. you hating on me. A lot of times. Or hating that I'm on Nate's show and no, you still hate me. No, never. No. Uh, but here we go, starting from the top in no particular order. This one comes in from Charlie Sheen. Holloway. Charlie says, pretty sure my wife and I have watched all your shows and Aww. some more than once. We're super excited. What? what? I said, Whoa, more than once? Yes, we're super excited to give this a whirl tonight. Well, listen up there, Charlie. You just keep binge watching and rerunning. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, a, <laughs> this is actually a really fun one. This one's coming in from Philip Brannigan. Hey, Philip Brannigan. First, this channel was annoying. Okay. Wow. Oh no, not wow. Now, oh. it's unwatchable. Ooh. Even with the sound off. Well, so he tried. <laughs> he gave it his best effort. <coughs> Philip, you... You gave it a shot. You gave it a shot. Well, you know what? You know what? Thanks for giving it a try. Appreciate it. That's all anyone can ask of anyone, just to give him a chance. Is the bell on my Just give me a chance. Just don't come in and cancel us without giving us a second chance. Garth, come on, relax, all right? Your pills? Oh, this is a great one. This one comes in from Janet 
Genevieve. Genevieve. Je the door. Je the door. Je the window. I don't care. Je the window. I don't care. Janice says your sidekick needs to keep needs to keep stop talking during filming. Needs to keep stop talking. You need to keep stop talking. Wait, keep talking. Needs to keep stop talking during filming. It's distracting. No, she overtypes. Ah. Keep talking. Unless right. she's talking about Ethan. In which case, nobody wants to hear from him. Oh, ouch. <laughs> nobody heard from him. Nobody knows. I did on purpose. The trouble I see. Nobody knows my sorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, so mo so quiet. You want me to turn it up? Turn yeah. it up. Oh. Alright, there we go. All right. It's back. Okay, Thomas Conway says... Tommy you, Conway? You're yeah. the Charlie Conway's big brother? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Triple D. <laughs> Thomas says, you're becoming an exception griddle cook. Would have been better if it was exceptional. No. It you're becoming, an exception. A, becoming <laughs> an exception griddle cook. I've been watching your show for six plus months. Six plus month. And love it. Thomas work with me here grammar dude. police keep going and you will become the teacher you know tommy there's a warm welcome for you over at my show but we don't treat people like this what are you talking about thomas good job <laughs> good job he said good job hey Tommy. what's the matter you afraid of ice the jumps Woo. All right, this one comes in from Chris Cook. Chris, always glad to have you hanging out with us. He's Loving regular. Chris, Chris, actually, I think Chris is a woman. Oh, yes. She's a regular. She is a regular. Chris says, Loving the Bird Dog, best show ever to involve the fans. Wow. It's why we keep coming back for more. Had to watch Flash Gordon after this one. Flash! Ah! Savior of the universe! Ba 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 bum! Okay, this is great. Uh, this was a comment on the bird dog, and then Blackstone commented and said, "What should C CJ cook next? <laughs> <Yeah>. Drop <laughs> your ideas below." So we had wait, wait, fourteen I, or fifteen. Wait, what did Blackstone say? What should CJ cook next? All right, I'll be Blackstone. Ready? Yes. And who are you going to be? I'm going to be Mark Miller. You're playing the part of Mark. Miller. I'm playing the part playing of Mark part Miller. Of, okay. Yeah, Blackstone. Ready? Go for it. What should CJ cook next? Drop your ideas below. Hi, I'm Mark Miller. <laughs> Nothing. Just quit. And <laughs> man, wow, Mark, he went out of his way. That was super A lot of capitals. mean. <laughs> Donkey Shane, my friends, for hanging Donkey out and spending time Shane. with her. Darling, Donkey Shane. Shane, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, dude, that was a serious mashup. Oh. I love it. Golden Girls. Good times. Good times. Hey, speaking of Golden Girls, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com for this recipe. Tons of others. Also go to GriddleNation.com where you can swag. acquire swag like this and stickers. You can also put a link in there. Find us on Instagram. Figure out where the follow party's me at. at. Chef Nathan Lippy on not, Instagram. No, do not. Do not follow him. Just go at Instagram. Chef Nathan Lippy. CJ Frazier. Don't worry about Nate. Frazier. Who cares about Ethan? <laughs> Anyways, if you want to get on the OG board, let us know, and uh, I'll send you the address where you can send us said swag after you follow my account. Anyways, and mine moving on. This one right there. That one. That one. Oh, double time. This double is time. CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we cook. Yes, indeed we do. We will see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>